Honest Erling Greetings. I'm Rasia Dinos Tefari. Ras Ayatonis Tefari of the Line of Jesus Society of His Imperial Majesty. And what we like to speak on and to make this as brief or as succinct as possible is the present situation with the Arab revolts, the revolutions with Tunisia, Egypt, and all the protests that are that are going on in the in the so-called Middle East, North Africa, North Africa, and the Middle East, um, the Middle Eastern uh, region, the Middle Eastern region of the world, and to remind my brothers and remind the Brotherhood. Um, the Ethiopian Hebrew and the Rastafari Brotherhood of the fact that Ethiopia still was and still is and hopefully with the blessings of the Almighty and our hard work in his way will remain one of the only Christian or if not the only hopefully but right now Ethiopia is the only Christian nation in the Middle East and of course the oldest and one of the oldest Christian nations in the world we have to say nation we have to say say nation instead of empire because we all are reminded of the great transgression against the, the king of kings the rebellion against the elect of God against his imperial majesty but now this reminds me of something that is um, in uh, in Daniel the book of Daniel, Dan, Daniel chapter 11, verse 44. Interesting, the numerology, if one would like to investigate it, the number 11, we're in 2011, some might think that's significant, as well as the number 44. You understand whether presidency or just the fact that 11 and 44, you know, four times, so forth, so on. But it's really what the verse says that concerns this particular interesting very interesting and um critical crisis time that we're in as the the middle east and north africa among other places is going through a, a, a kind of a realignment of sorts and it reminds me of what is, has been said before as above so below in other words concerning what is to happen in 2012 in the heavens, what is said concerning the Mayan calendar 2012. And the fact that we have already stated on the record that actually 2010 actually was a 2012 moment. You know, understand 2010, which already passed, and some of the effects, the reverberations are are occurring on earth even in the sun even certain things in the sun with the solar flares and flashes that's on the internet some of y'all can check that out this very recent um hasn't happened in four years and last time that that happened it, i think one of the grids the canadian power grid blew out when there was a solar flare when it finally reached the earth so forth and so on so that can be critical for a lot of this um social media the social media revolutions the internet revolutionaries and the the dependence in some sense the over dependence on things like um whether even the youtubes or the facebook so forth so this is why we try to deal with teachings and try to encourage our brothers and sisters to 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 study and to learn the truth for themselves you understand to really to repent to get into to get into or really let the holy spirit get into them and guide you you understand so that so that we're all on the same spiritual in other words to get on the spiritual network we think is very important even more important for us to get on the spiritual network because there's so much dependence on these internet um networks and with a lot of the things that are to happen a lot of these things mobilized and um a lot of folks will basically go crazy because of their over dependence on a lot of this um um technology so-called that they are dependent on so my brothers and sisters please please remember it's a spiritual network that we want to be always connected on the spiritual network but now concerning ethiopia Ethiopia actually is in the eye of the storm. And there is a storm. You understand? Some call this an ideal storm. The present um, 
geo-global political position and the revolutions and what's happening in the in the Middle East in particular. But Ethiopia still is the only Christian, point corrected, not just Christian, but Judeo, Judeo, Christian nation in the Middle East. You know what I'm saying? If we look at this map again, and we've talked about this in another part that we did about Ethiopia and the and the Arab um, revolution and the Arab world and the Middle East, so forth and so on. But Ethiopia is the only Judeo-Christian nation in that region of the world. That should mean something to, you know, the other so-called Christian or so-called Christian nations like England, like like the European so-called Christian nations, like America, a so-called Christian nation, even though that's, that's debatable nowadays with a lot of the other issues that have come to the forefront. But be that as it is, Ethiopia still is the only Judeo-Christian nation in that part of the world. And this requires our, our attention. This requires our prayer, and this also requires us to do work on the ground. You understand? There's there's work that need to be done on the ground, both the ground over here, as well as the ground over there, and many places betwixt and between. But once again, to that scripture, because every time I think about, you know, or hear, or watch the news, and and get some updates, or even Al Jazeera, when we're able to check out Al Jazeera on the internet. And see what's going on and the American reactions to it and all the pundits and the opiners opining on what Obama is doing and what Obama is not doing. Here's the critical thing, because a lot of y'all have already written off Obama and written off everything. You're hopeless. A lot of y'all are really totally hopeless and really because you're ignorant of what is in the scriptures and, and our perspective, our view of these things like Yahweh. Eloheinu Buruku, he says, I think in Tinbete Isaias, that my way is not your way. You understand? You know, as heaven is above the earth, so is his way above our way. So we need to be on that spiritual network. You know what I'm saying? We need to be connected on that spiritual network. So when we see these things and hear these things, we can know and search out and find out exactly what do they mean to us. See, what it will mean to us. You understand as as the the elect, as the remnant, as the faithful, what it means to us as Ethiopian Hebrews, what it means to us as elect Rastafari, is not quite the same what it means to some of our Gentile neighbors or others. So, so, so we have to recognize that our view of the matter needs to be guided by the Holy Spirit. So we need to be on that network. But in um Tinbete Daniel chapter 11 verse 44 i find this to be very interesting this portion it says but tidings tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him therefore he shall go forth with great fury to destroy and utterly to make away many now, many point this verse out to say that this is this end times antichrist type of figure, so forth and so on, that news out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. But it's interesting how this news out of the east, the Middle East, and out of the north, North Africa, in particular Tunisia, then we had Egypt, now we have North Africa, Libya, uh, mainly in that region. And out of the east, going further east, Bahrain, Syria, Jordan, Yemen, the Horn of Africa, of course, has been an interesting, um, an interesting place and will remain until this is fulfilled, a very... Um, interesting place but it's interesting how it says that um but tidings or were the were out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him now we're not saying that this him per se is obama because obama really doesn't seem that much troubled by this but we're speaking about systems you know saying we're speaking about systems you understand we're speaking about about um the so-called New World Order. 
now people say, well, Obama's down for New World Order and so forth and so on. But aren't you? I mean, do you still use this money? You, you're on the internet, right? Aren't you connected in some way? No, no, no. And I'm saying that. I'm saying that to say that we should not be too oversimplistic. You know, saying if we're going to be the Almighty's people, you know, saying it says to be children in wrath, be children in wrath, but not in knowledge. You understand? That's why the verse, if we scroll back a couple of verses, we see that it says in verse 42, it says, In the words, he shall stretch forth his hand also upon the countries, and the land of Egypt shall not escape. Hmm. What does this mean? Does this have any relativity or relationship to the events that we have seen over the past couple of weeks? But furthermore, verse 43, it says, But he shall have power over the treasures of gold and of silver and over all the precious things of Egypt. Hmm. And the Libyans, Libya, and the Ethiopians shall be at his steps but work in a beberima mezgeblai be kabarechima be gipsa ika hulu lai ye salitinal ye libyana ye chop iya so chema ye katalutal then it goes into kamis arak inaka samain gin were yao kawal it says but tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. Now the point of this, basically, this reminder is just to bring this map full forward. And those who have been following the videos and the postings have known that we have referred to this map often over the past year or so in various videos. But when we look at this map and see the so-called Arab world and we see the position of Ethiopia, may our prayers be for the the righteous Ethiopians to rise up, you know, and to rise this occasion, and for those of us abroad, you know, and scattered all throughout the world to do our part, you understand, whether in, in spirit, you understand, whether in soul, or whether physically, or a combination, you understand, to keep Ethiopia as a Judeo-Christian nation. This is very key, this is very significant. You understand, and we hope and pray that the West, speaking of America, speaking of England and uh, some of the other European countries, you understand, especially will get out of their hypocrisy because they have not, they sold Ethiopia for the Cold War. You understand, the whole revolution uh, against his imperial majesty was all engineered as an Illuminati conspiracy, and now what we're seeing in that region of the world is blowback. In, in, in what what um, Malcolm X had said, even though he was told not to basically in his order, we can say in this order that the chickens have come home to roost. What we're seeing happening in that region, in that part of the world. Because when you hear the protests on the Arab street, their, their grief and gripe with their government in Egypt was 30 years, right? In Libya, it's like 40, 41 years. And in, in other places, it's been a little bit longer. But especially in that Horn of Africa region and the Middle East region, Africa and the Middle East region, most of this conflict and instability that is that is that is that is bursting out at the seams was actually created or exasperated within the same period of time as the creeping coup against the king of kings of Ethiopia the one who maintains order between the Christians and the Muslims or between the Middle East, Africa, at a very critical and biblical position in the highlands of the earth, with what is truly the African Sion. And as you look at this map, and we're going to sign off right here for right now, you see it's Rael, the state of Israel is in the north. Now, we don't want to really comment right now on the relationship is some study has to go into this for those who are not familiar of the relationship of um the so-called state of israel and um 
Ethiopia, the imperial government of Ethiopia, and and afterward, as well as you know, we have we have extensions of our family, the Beit Israel, in the state of Israel. Even though we may not agree with the the more times racist Ashkenazi, um, so-called pseudo-Jewish Edomite Khazari and government that they have over there we do have many of our people the beta israel from ethiopia our beta israel from from america the african hebrews over there and our prayers are with them therefore we do have an investment there so when we look at this that's going on there you know i've spoken to a lot of um so-called uh, rosters. I don't know what they were smoking. Some of these cats, you know, they're all supporting, you know, the so-called Arab street, the Arab world against Israel, against, and I'm thinking like, I mean, what are they doing? You know what I mean? <laughs> when you really, you know, don't they know the history uh, between us and the so-called pale red Arabs and, and, and how they're in all of our land. They didn't just get in our land because their land, because they were part of the slave, the ancestors rather, were part of the slave trade. So, see, we can't avoid the past. We, we got to see the past is what makes the present. We can't just enter into the present scheme of things and not recognize the past that actually built up, you understand, to where it is presently in this present time. But pray for Ethiopia. You understand? Pray for Ethiopia because Ethiopia still remains in, in, in the, the eye of the storm. Ethiopia is in the eye of the storm. Ethiopia is, is the only or really the last of the Judeo-Christian nations in that part of the world. And Ethiopia still is a target. It still is a target for these um, these uh, Dajala. You understand, or, or what, what, what we call antichrist in Christianity, but in Islam they call them um, Dajjal, you know, which is like a, a, you could say an anti Mohammed type of Mohammedans or, or Islamic folk out there who want to, by hook or by crook, you understand, um, uh, convert Ethiopia into a so called Islamic nation. I'm sure some of them probably will even respond to, to this as they have responded to others but their response we're not really concerned with it's a response from our community from our brothers and sisters and the mobilization for action you understand to take concerted action to be awake and aware you understand of this and not to leave Ethiopia surrounded by such threats and dangers both um, from within and from without so we will pause for the cause right now and continue what a feat <laughs> The truth has overcome the lies, the good news of his majesty in his Christ. And it is vital that we raise our tribal flag, the flag of the conquering lion of the tribe of Yehuda. Uh, millions of Christians throughout the world, your imperial majesty, will regard you as the reincarnation of Jesus Christ.